Okay, right, guys, so um, this is sort of like my almost to the final video of the ceiling fans <clears throat> in my house. Like, somewhere to like around like July um, 25th, I'm just gonna do one last run through of all the lights and fans. <laughs> so, I think this one will also, this one is just gonna be fans. My, we have seven fans total. My one, we have a total of, we count portable fans and 10 fans, but ceiling fans, seven. We have a 42 inch Harbor Breeze Cheshire, Cheshire too, I mean. There we go. And then in the guest bedroom, we have a 42-inch Harbor Breeze Sentinel. I actually have three of these. They're all 42-inch, but they're all, in, but they're not all antique brass though. It's the antique brass one. It's got these like Disney chains on it. Yeah, I finally found like the thing that that the fog goes on the bottom of. Like I found the actual extension. Before then, I just the fob on like the actual chain bit there because this one it's always been like this or a switch i mean two words to pull the chain because i do not want it breaking or getting stuck before we sell this house oh it's it makes that weird noise but yeah here's that fan has one switch all the fans in this house one switch so that's light on in my sister's bedroom we have another 42 inch rv centerville but this one's in brush nickel i thought the room was very messy just wipe the mess hold on i'm just going to try to get up to the fan just Reach the chain that one. So, like, yeah, it's got the thin pull chains. So, yeah, it's running on high. Well, I mean, it has to, but it's like, yeah, as you guys know, the fan chain's still stuck. I don't think we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna do anything with this fan. But if we were to, we would either replace the pull chain switch. Or get a new fan altogether. We get a new fan, it might be a remote fan because, like, the reason why all the fans have been changing in this room is because of pull chain problems. So yeah, we're pro so we're not gonna so we're probably not gonna fix the pull chain switch or get a new fan. So like I said, if we get a new fan, it's probably gonna be a remote fan because the reasons why all the fans have been switching in this room because of pull chain problems. No major updates on the fan, basically. Master bedroom is still the LMS 4 it's here. It's running on medium speed right now. Light on. This is the only fan that we have in this. It's the only fan that we own right now that dims. In the new house, we will only have one fan that dims unless we get one of those remotes. It's dimmable. I have to go up close to see. Okay. It's, uh, it's a, I think that's the brightest it gets. High speed. Put the light off. That's a medium speed. Wait, that's not fully brighten. Low speed. I'm just going to turn this one off. Yeah, I'm just going to turn this one off because, like, this is the master bedroom, and I do not know what my parents' reaction will be if they find out that their fan has been on. So, yeah. So, 
So yeah, the results. I was gonna do a, a factory speed on this one, like, but the thing is that, like, when I pulled the chain three times and I hit the fan button, like the high button, the fan still spinning like if it was on high. So I'm guessing that I pulled the chain to medium. If that was like, if if when I set it to high, if that was like medium speed, then that, then this fan's really fast. Anyway, time to go downstairs. In the kitchen, we have a 52 inch Hunter Palermo. This is one of the only two Hunter fans we have in the house. Here's the remote. I'm trying to avoid. So, the way how I can tell the remotes, very easy. Just let me just get the one of the way. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Here's the difference between the remotes. The, this is the kitchen one, the living room one. So, so to tell the difference, the kitchen one, um, like, like is sort of like, is not a, is not as white as the living room one, living room one, kitchen one. Kitchen one has, has all these markings on it. And the kitchen one is missing the reverse button thing. So you sort of have to like press down there in order to reverse it. So it's the kitchen one. The little one is completely clear and has a reverse button. So yeah, here's. I just feel like that's very off-center for the kitchen. It's like there's the whole kitchen there. And then here's the fan, like here. I'll show you like a view of the kitchen. Basically, there it is. What the? Oh, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, this way. Okay. So yeah, I just feel like that the fan should have been like, let just get up on this bar stool. Like somewhere about like maybe on the island, like there. Anyway, I saw the lights. No, the remote goes in here. Just stop the oh, and fun fact, this was the first fan that we had more than one of until like, we got the bus in the center of it. Until we replaced the, the Karatek River with the, with the brush in the center of it. Anyway, in the office, we have a 42 inch, another 42 inch, the last one of is Harbor Breeze Central. Now this one actually came just wait a minute. This one actually came with the non-flattened pull chains. These are the originals and then it's the only fan downstairs that is in bronze. It's the only fan downstairs that is that is supposed that is supposed to be pole chain fan, but oh, we hooked it up to this remote. And then it's the only fan in this house. Then downstairs that has that has three fairs on the light. Um and it's the only fan downstairs that the lights get frequently used because like I'm this is what I'm guessing. Before there was like a basic light fixture. Like like 
this one here, but it was in brass. And now it's frequently used when guessing, and this provides more light than that. So yeah, so I'm guessing why. And this is the only Harbor Breeze ceiling fan that is downstairs. And the final one. Oh, and we have another one of the ones. I still don't know what's going on. Right. And we can reverse it. So yeah, the only thing I can literally physically reverse this one, probably gonna leave a note saying to take the remote receiver out. So yeah, here's that one. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the ceiling fans in my soon to be old house, basically. I'm gonna have 10 ceiling fans in the new house. So, yeah, it's really like, if we include portable fans, I'm gonna have 13. But I don't know if we're taking them with us or we're just leaving them behind. I love this one, like, I love the bronze center. I don't know why, um, well, I mean, I do not know why I did not choose this for my room. Well, then again, the, Chesh the Cheshire 2 was already discontinued, so I got some great value whilst getting the Cheshire 2. Anyway. Oh, it's a ghost. So I hope you like this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.